In developing news right now, a search is still underway for a wanted fugitive in Charleston County. This is a picture of Michael Burham. He's believed to be armed and dangerous. The 35 year old was last seen wearing blue shorts and a gray shirt. He, he is about 5'9 in height and he weighs about 150 pounds. This has been going on for days now. Yeah. A couple sightings of him recently. News News Raymond Owens is joining us live right now from where multiple law enforcement agencies are still searching for this suspect. Raymond, you've been following this story all day. You've been talking to eyewitnesses. Tell us any updates. Well, right now I'm, I'm here on Lieben Road. Uh, this is a little closer to Mount Pleasant than the Siwi Outpost. Uh, this is where law enforcement tell me they are uh, preparing to basically have their command post set up here instead of at Siwi Outpost uh, here in a little while. I have seen a couple of, uh, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to tell you as I'm talking to you right now, I'm getting an emergency alert. Law enforcement has spotted fugitive Michael Burham in the area of Hugey, Allendahl, Siwi, Northern Mount Pleasant, and McClellanville. Now that is a, an alert that you see if you drive anywhere in this general area. But as I was talking to you, I heard that in my ear and it just popped up on my phone, as you can see here. Uh, they're telling us that they believe he could be hitchhiking. Uh, he could also have a bicycle, a, a, a cruiser style, beach cruiser style bicycle. Uh, if you happen to see him, you're encouraged to call 1-800-CALL-FBI. And again, he has been seen a couple of times in the last 24 hours. One at 3 p.m. yesterday at Wynwood Farm Road, and then at 11 o'clock last night on Broomstraw Hill Road. Uh, those are closer to the Siwi Outpost. But as we get any additional information, you can count on us to bring it to you. Live in, near the 10 Mile community in Mount Pleasant, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two. Thank you, Raymond, for those updates. Like you heard, this is certainly a developing story. We've been following it for days. Updates continue to come our way. When we get them, we'll bring them to you. That's right, Hannah. Of course, we'll have live updates from Raymond. He'll be live starting on News 2 at 4, and we'll also have the latest information on our website. That's countonto.com.